All right, Coach Tyler Costin here with PGC Basketball. It's time to become a next level playmaker. Now, you gotta understand that most players make most of their passes from the sagittal plane. That's right, I said sagittal, go ahead and look it up. That basically means you pass directly in front of you in a direct line with your vision. Most sagittal plane passes are what you learned when you first started to play the game of basketball. That's your classic chest pass, your overhead pass, or a push pass with either hand. What you gotta understand is, passes made from the sagittal plane account for less than 10% of all scoring passes made. You truly want to expand your game to become a playmaker, you have to learn to pass from the two high level point guard planes. These high level point guard planes are the diagonal plane. Now the diagonal plane is when you pass diagonally, specifically from your shoulders. That would include pocket passes, shovel passes, and hook passes. And that's where a lot of these scoring passes come from, especially in transition. Now you're ready for some high level passing plane. This is from the frontal plane. So frontal plane passes are directly 90 degrees off either shoulder and side. Keek, I see that ball real quick. Now if we get really good at these frontal plane passes, when we can throw behind the back passes, when we can throw flick passes, when we can throw cross body passes without telegraphing and having to pass from the sagittal plane, well then we can pass the ball faster. Then we can pass the scorers immediately before their defenders recover. Then assists are going to go through the roof. So let's go ahead and talk about the five different passes. The first one that you must have is you must have a flick pass. A flick pass is one that LeBron James uses constantly to pass off the shoulder, immediately off the dribble, without giving away his passing angle. It's just how you would flick a bug off of a friend's shirt. You just put thumb down, finger down, and you flick it from either shoulder with either hand. You can make those passes specifically on the diagonal plane. That's where a lot of the pocket passes come from. The second pass we're gonna work on is actually a cross body pass. Those are passing across your body from the opposite hand without turning and giving away the angle of your pass with your chest. Now let's talk about our three frontal plane passes that we're gonna work on. The first one is going to be a hook pass. And this allows us to pass over and around defensive hands creatively without having to use a ball fake to create time and space. You can actually immediately deliver a pass with a hook pass. The next one we're gonna work on is actually our rugby pass, often called a shovel pass. With a rugby pass, you can deliver the ball generally below the hands of the defender and pass to either side on the frontal plane. Now the final one that we must develop if we're going to be a creative passer is gonna be our behind the back pass, both off of the catch and off of the dribble. When you have the tools to move away from sagittal passes to diagonal passes and frontal plane passes, the entire court will open up to you. You'll pass on time, on target, with accuracy, and the defense won't know where the ball is coming from. You are now equipped more than ever before to deliver on time, on target passes in a creative way from creative delivery points. If you like this and you want more stuff like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please hit like, hit us up in the comments below, and you can always check us out at pgcbasketball.com. I'm Tyler Costin. Let's get in the gym and get better.